everybody's scared. Tomorrow is, of course, Halloween, and if you're looking to get the adrenaline rush of a haunted house, there are a few additional things to consider this year. Our Clayton Sandell has the spooky story. It seems like 2020 couldn't get much scarier. But around the country, haunted houses are sure trying. Those spooky places where thousands pay to be terrorized are, like most everything else, threatened by a global pandemic. Chris Stafford is CEO of the 13th Floor Entertainment Group. They operate 15 haunts in 10 states. He took us behind the screams to show us just how the new era of socially distanced scaring works. Yeah, oh. everyone's afraid of the, the creepy mannequin. There's an estimated 1,200 haunt attractions in the U.S., scaring up as much as half a billion dollars every year. But this Halloween, the CDC is recommending people avoid indoor haunted houses, calling them higher risk. Stafford says that's unfair. I felt we're being uh, unfairly classified as a mass gathering and they're really not. This year, 13th floor says it's severely limited how many people are allowed inside. Most of our attractions are running at about 25 to 50% of what they would normally be running at. At 25%, are you guys able to stay in business and stay alive? You know, the way I've explained it is this year I'm in business to lose less money. Halloween this year means masks aren't just for monsters. Every customer also wears one. Zombie actor Alexis Cooper wears two. I prepare by, you know, getting the PPE mask on, making sure it fits properly underneath it. Then she's off to makeup. There's no touch makeup, so all of the makeup that we do is airbrush. Artists never have to come in contact with the employee or the actor. You look great. Thank you. In a not so great kind of way. <laughs> is it hard to be scary with the mask and everything? It's not hard. I think you get used to wearing the mask after a while. I mean, you wear it every day anyways. The actors are no longer allowed to scream like they used to, which of course can spread dangerous droplets. So customer walks up, they get it right about here, and then you pop out, yeah? So this year, Cooper now triggers a very loud sound effect. <laughs> Customers may be too scared to notice, but this year they've made lots of changes to the floor plan. You've had to redesign the layout to keep people six feet apart. Yeah, what we did is we tried to use environmental uh, props like a yeah. couch or something else where we could create a physical barrier between the, the actor and the group. So once again, just creating a little bit of a physical barrier between you and the, and the actor. Right. She is not having a good day. going through the haunted house, there's a lot of different things that are hanging in your face yeah. that you have to push through. Yeah. We've taken all the props that would normally be hanging inside the walkway, moved them to the outside of the walkway so the customers don't have to come into contact with anything. Do you think it's any less scary this year? I really don't. I don't know if it's maybe because we paid extra attention to how we were going to scare and getting more creative in the, in, in the ways and the techniques that we were doing that. I don't know. They're also using fewer live actors. Instead, more characters appear on screens. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. And many of the biggest scares, from monsters to aliens and zombies, are now actorless and automated. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Should have brought a change of pants. Stafford's other haunted houses this year have transformed into socially distanced drive-ins. This one, called City of the Dead, is themed as a horror film festival gone wrong. Huh? And when the lights suddenly go off, creepy freaks emerge from the fog, surrounding drivers who have no escape. People who say Halloween must go on are snapping up tickets. Any concerns about coming out in the age of COVID to a haunted house? Not, no, not any more than any other activities. This is my first haunted house. This is your first haunted house? Wow, are you scared? No. I've been watching them clean and it seems pretty safe with the masks. We're not just in the Halloween business. We're not just in the scare attraction business. We're in the business of tradition. And many families, this is a tradition for them. Stafford believes haunted houses, especially this year, are critical to people's mental health. Not just their physical health being the focus. Um, and, you know, it, it's important, I think, more now than ever to get out and have experiences that help your mind get out of the day to day and just have that, at least even for a moment, to forget about all the craziness that's happening in the world. <laughs> Clayton Sandell, ABC News Live, Denver.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.